Today I'm going to show you a piece of extremely useful software for monitoring core temp your processor temperature and um, overclocking temperature. So, <coughs> so it's first I'm going to show you how to um, use it. So you might get this message here. Just say yes. And I'm using core temp version one, which is a newer version compared to. Uh, other editions, so it's quite use it's actually extremely useful software. So it tells you my um, processor model here, model here, the number of cores, and um, down here it shows your uh, TJ Max, which is a temperature junction max, and this is basically the temperature on which your CPU will cut out at, and basically turn the computer off. Um, so, as you see, it's uh, extremely useful. I've got my temperatures down here. It's the maximum temperature of each today, because all I've been really doing is not much, just browsing the internet and watching videos. And to my minimum temperature, it's that moment. So, temperature is maintaining at the moment. Um, it's not about 64, it usually stays around 50, 55 or something. From 64, I wasn't just, you know, recording. Um, when playing the games, goes up to about 72, 71, and st maintains that um, constant temperature. And um, another thing I have something to tell you about is, um, is overheat protection. I don't know if it's in earlier versions, but on this version, is an option called overheat protection, so which I've enabled. And automatic, so it's only identify when critical temperatures have reached. And uh, yeah, so I notify me when it's um, reached, and you can just adjust some settings here how you want it to, uh, notification to be like. So you can have a green pop up so it comes up down here, or a taskbar so it'll come up and load itself up here. And you can have shutdown options which you can enable for certain temperatures so it gets certain temperature to shut itself down. So just leave that. Yeah, so um, very good piece of software, it's extremely useful when you um, want to monitor the heat output when you're overclocking your processor. And um, that's it really here, thanks for watching.